Good morning. Happy Wednesday. I hope everyone's doing well. <clears throat> I have um, a brand new canvas back here that I'm hoping to start probably this weekend. Always a little bit of hope and a little bit of trepidation having a great big white canvas. Good morning, Emerson. Hi, Ellen. Hi, Michael. Hi, Julie. Hi, Carol Ann. <clears throat> oh, thank you. How are you, Emerson? <clears throat> so I hope everyone's doing well. Um, today I'm going to paint fruit. Allie asked, requested either fruit or vegetable. So I'm going to um, do um, cherries that my, my friend Greta took this photo. Let me show it to you. I was worried it might be a little too complicated to get done, finished in an hour, but we'll see, right? Um, <clears throat> so what's new with everyone? It's really pretty, isn't it? So my friend Greta Bones is her name here on Instagram. She's a friend of mine from high school and she lets me use her photography. Gosh, I'm always so grateful to, whoops. I need to get a new one of these phone holder things. It's a little wonky. Um, I'm always grateful to anyone who lets me use their photos because there's not enough time to do all the photography and find all the inspiration and learn. I've been taking, I probably told you this already, I've been taking a, an online course from um, <clears throat> Steve McLeod and it's in acrylics and she has a really cool style. So I've really been enjoying that. Good morning. Good morning, Lisa. And um, yeah, it's been fun. It's like it's a neat thing to look forward to each day to have that little bit of time. Like I would love to create a course like that. I'm not sure how I would break up oil painting into little pieces like that. But she releases something every day, I think for a month. Well, only one on the weekend. But the weekend you have like a longer assignment. <laughs> Already behind. Hi, Gabby. Hi, Amy. And she only lets you have the course for a shorter time, like to the end of October. And I know why that, you know, I've learned from doing courses and stuff. The reason why that is, is if you have a time crunch like that, you're more likely to focus on it when, when you have it in your hands to work on, which really is smart. But knowing that you don't have it forever, you don't wait forever to do it. I'm just going to kind of map in where things are here. Um, yeah, we're soon going to get to all these seasons. I was going to do strawberries um, since we're going to pretty soon be at strawberry season. I hope that this crazy weather hasn't hurt our strawberry season. I actually don't know how early they start growing, but I know strawberry season really isn't until those couple. It always seems like it, they just happen right at those first few really warm days in June. Like magically, then all of a sudden they're they're ready to roll <clears throat> um but but i came across across this photo in my in my library of things that i want to paint from greta and i thought well i'm gonna do this because it looks like fun good morning danica how's the puppy life going <clears throat> Oh my gosh, I have to switch around my, uh, um, my son is, my son Alex is turned, um, 30 today. I have no idea how I can possibly have a 30 year old child, <laughs> but I do. And I did a post this morning to wish him a happy birthday over on Facebook. And my husband just wrote to me and said I needed to include a picture of Isabel. I did have one <laughs> in there, but... I took it out because I, I thought it was too many photos. So I'll go fix that after we're finished here. <clears throat> Anita said, I've been worried about my peonies. I had some early ones that had buds on them already. Wow. And another, yeah, chance of, oh, they're talking about frost again? Oh, that's good, Danica. So Danica plays a ukulele as, as Alex's <clears throat> girlfriend, and they just got a foster pup. Um uh, on Monday. So that's, that's fun. I think that's fun. I don't know. I've never done that, <laughs> but you guys will be very good at it. <clears throat> so yeah, they're fostering a, a dog and, um, 
and they, they live in Baltimore. Anyway, I'm rambling on. I do that sometimes. <laughs> like, not quite awake or maybe too awake. I don't know. I'm not going to spend a lot of glare on there. That's a little better, right? <clears throat> Yes, very fun. Yeah, I don't know how I got a 30-year-old son, but it's all good. And my daughter is going to be 27 um, on the 26th. So, yeah, and she hosted Easter this year, so that was fun. That's a fun milestone of going to somebody else's house for the holiday. What else is new with everyone? My holiday was really nice, very fun. Went by in a flash. I like the no maintenance holidays like Groundhog's Day, Valentine's Day. The ones that don't take so much work. Time goes, yeah, Allie, and you know, it seems like it goes fat. The older you get, the faster time flies. Faster, definitely. Although it only goes slow, I think, when you're really young and you have that time to be bored. I vaguely remember what that was like. But, yeah, I'm never bored anymore. Not ever, not for a minute. Good morning, Helen. Reds can be a little bit tricky, and it's even hard to, it's, this part is a little tricky to me, trying to map out where things go, but not get too lost in the details of it all. Like, I want to know that I'm kind of getting things in the right spot, but part of me wanted to just kind of do a wash of, of a color. I guess I forgot to think that through. I could have done that. I could have just done a wash of, of like a burnt sienna and kind of wiped out where the light spots are, spots are. Morning, Nancy. That little granddaughter of yours is so cute. She could not be any cuter. And I said, wait till grandchild come along. And then you feel, yes, yeah, that's true. That does, will make it seem like time goes even more quickly. And that was a fun little Easter post of her. <clears throat> Wagga, 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 or Wagga, 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 Austria, Australia. Well, that's a fun name. Very fun. So I'm going to have to give some thought to like <clears> how <throat> I'm going to make parts of this look like it's kind of pushing, receding, and parts of it look like it's coming forward. But I'll do all that in the next layer. Um, it's kind of red in here. Yeah, so where's everyone um, <clears throat> from? Good morning, Lisa. I love the paintings you posted from Art and Bloom. They look fabulous. I'm 
doing some dark darks too. Ontario <clears throat> from North Texas, Cheryl. Michigan, Katy, Texas. Hmm. What time is it in Texas? That's what I had talked about, switching this to another time so that more people from the West could tune in, but I think I'm going to try and do just do a different one. I just haven't gotten that far. Alberta, Mansfield, Texas, south of DFW, suburban Chicago. Seven o'clock. Oh, that's not bad. I'm always up at seven. Katie, Texas, too. Do you guys know each other? Seven eleven. Yeah, that's not terribly early. Really is my favorite time of the day when I get I get up and I'm always painting at this time of the day. Almost always, unless, well, unless I'm not home or, um, you know, if I have something else pressing that I need to do. But <clears throat> that's pretty much what I'm always doing at this time of the day. Yes, you guys should. I love meeting new artist friends in person. I'm actually meeting a friend for coffee on Friday that, who lives near me that I've never met before. I'm looking forward to that. That is a nice thing about social media is being able to find out about people who live near you that you would have never met otherwise. I'm kind of using, she said, um, Urban Trees said, what color is the darkest? I'm using kind of a brownish purple as my really dark that I'm dropping in here. <clears throat> Actually, it was kind of the color of that cherry. friends we've never met before yes and that's the internet yes I call my virtual friends yes I have lots of them love all my virtual friends and it's fun when I go to art shows I often get to meet my virtual friends and I love that even more a lot of times people will come and and meet me and so I'm kind of in the middle of thinking about all of that now I've got to get ready for shows and I still do have a couple spots left in my Connecticut workshop if anybody's got a little bit of free time at, in the I think it's like May 20th or something May 20th to the to I don't know when it is but it's all there's a link in my bio here on Instagram if you're thinking that you might like to join me we're going to paint all kinds of things spring flowers and birds and um I haven't really planned it all out. I'd take suggestions, too. They sure have multiplied these last two years. Oh, your friends, you mean? Your internet friends? That's fun. So, yes, if you'd like to join me in Connecticut, it's at a beautiful um, bed and breakfast. And, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Mimi said maybe we can meet for coffee. Do you know... Blockhouse on Gaston. Are you near there? That would be fun. Wish I could come. <laughs> I've never been to Texas. I think that's a good start. That gives me an idea of where things need to be. I'm going to clean up the palette here quickly. Get out my pigment sticks. And I might need a sip of my coffee real quick, too.
I have my pigment sticks in this cute, well, this is two of them together, but I got this little, they had these at Target. It was a complete impulse purchase, and I'm so glad I got it. Because it's a nice, nice place to keep my pigment sticks. This is my new color that, I really enjoyed this color. It's called Blue, oops, can't see it there. It's in the shadow, Blue Ochre. Really pretty. It's kind of a bluish black color. He's getting paint all over my iPad. I have to get a new iPad. It, it loses its charge too quickly now. Nothing lasts forever, especially digital things. having fun painting um, uh, seashells lately. I'm getting ready for a show in Rehoboth. thought that would be a fun thing to have in my collection of offerings. I had taken photos. I don't, I know I've painted seashells, but not very often. And I took photos at the beach probably two or three, maybe even four years ago. And I do that a lot of times. Like I'll see something and it'll inspire me. I'll take a photograph of it. But I won't actually do anything with it for years. And then I'll be thinking, you know, oh, I would like to paint seashells. I'll be like, oh, I know. I, I took a photo of seashells. I'll find them. <clears throat> Good morning, Mary Eileen. How are you? <clears throat> so I love when that happens that I need something and I've already done the photo shoot. But that also makes me have way too many, far too many photos <laughs> in my camera. A little crunchy on there. Oh, good. That's wonderful. Yeah, I'm going to be better when the weather ends up being nice and stays. We had Isabel had to go back to um, Duquesne on... Monday and and the weather was terrible absolutely terrible but fortunately she it's a blessing that she was flying because there was a lot of problems on the turnpike so I was actually glad she flew shells and pebbles on a beach so lovely yes I love that too pink for fun. So I have to clean these off. They get uh, like a film on them because it's oil paint. It kind of dries on the outside. So I clean it off with my paper towel. Do I need any more unexpected color in there? Um, yeah, a little green just for fun. Even in my shells, I've really been loving putting pops of unexpected color in there. I think that's good. That looks like a, a happy, messy middle, right? So I really need reds and teals and yellows, mostly. So let me... Turn this down here. Sorry for the. Didn't make a lot of noise this time. Good. It's not bad. Oh, thank you, Allie. They are fun. I never use pigment sticks to use them in all your oil paintings. Yes, I pretty much do, Rosemary. I love them. Okay. I need my. Oh, here. 
Okay, so I'll start with my darkest darks, which I think I'm going to make kind of purplish. I don't have much purple left up there. Violet, I guess, is the correct term. I need to put a little bit more out. I'm looking for it in my... I think this is it. And I got it. Your shot is serious. Maybe you could add a starfish. Oh, that's a good idea, Irma. And I think I have one more panel. I'm, I have been painting like crazy. And I have like almost no um, panels left. I need to order more. Knit Napper. She said, I bet the pops of color are even more fun to see peeking through. They are. They're really fun. I'm always kind of trying to push that envelope to letting them pop even more. It's kind of like a, I do it and then I love it and then I try again and they don't pop as much. But even in that shell that I did yesterday, it's like one of the fan shells and whatever they're called. And the little colors in there are just so cool. I feel like when the colors are singing like that, that means it's time for me to stop doing it. a little um <clears throat> I need to mix this a little better it keeps not being mixed and I add color to it all right that's good I always have to clean that back of my my uh, palette knife off before I dip it in the color. If you don't mind putting gesso on the board yourself, I found a great supplier of hardboard on Etsy who cut exactly what I needed for under $2. Oh my gosh, will you send me that? That sounds wonderful. Yeah, I would think some of this stuff would be so easy to make. And yeah, it is, it's crazy, crazy expensive to buy art supplies. My goodness. I think that's the business to be in is selling art supplies. But I'm sure there's not as much markup as it seems like there would be. Yes, that'd be wonderful. You would send me that. I think I'm going to add a little bit more blue into that, including shipping. Oh, yeah. If you put it in here, I'll miss it. So send it to me separate, too. But you could put it in here. Sure thing, Kim. I used to cut my own, but this company is even better for less. That's great. I've never tried to cut my own. I always wanted to learn to stretch canvas, too. Hmm. All right, so I need reds and kind of oranges. So I need darker. I use these colors. That's a nice color to include. I'm glad I saved that. Sometimes I'll save colors from the day before, and then they'll just miraculously be needed in the painting for the next day, which I love when that happens. Sometimes if I paint something and I have a lot of wonderful colors left, I'll just paint something else, like in the same color scheme, just because I already have the colors mixed up. If I have a lot left over, but I honestly usually don't. I don't mix enough color often, more more than make, making too much. That's rare. Oh my gosh, Ellen. Yeah, panels and frames are crazy expensive. And... There, I have my framer here in East Pete where I live. Jenny, like her, like everything for her has gotten so incredibly expensive. So even framers 
I guess it's getting the wood and the shipping and all those things have made it incredibly tricky. But it's hard. It's hard on artists because then it makes, you know, you have to factor all that into the cost of things. And Etsy suppliers, Seymour Designs, mention that you want shiny 8th inch MDF and that you cut for Joanne Murphy. Huh. I, I could do a screenshot of that. Let me see. All right, I think I got that. Thank you. Are your classes just for oil painters? Um, well, I use oil painting in my classes. I People have been doing them using acrylics, um, but this, I paint with oils. I am learning acrylics. I might eventually make a class in acrylics also, but um, that's not quite on my radar yet. I have to get myself and to make a few more a glass of big, okay, he'll cut any size you like. Just email him directly at the address I gave you. It's easier than going through Etsy. His wife, Maria, is the one who answers the emails. So that's wonderful. What a fun find. But yeah, several of the people who are doing my, my Art in Bloom right now are doing it in acrylics. I should send a note out and see how it's going for them. I do have an acrylic supply list in there, but I'm actually working in oils. Oh, I'll show you the acrylic um, that I just did with, um, I posted it yesterday. I don't even think I have it underneath. I started playing with another one today, <clears throat> this morning. But this is the one that I did from Estes course. It's in my sketchbook. So that's with acrylics and it has a lot of like, I love all those colors and, and textures in there. And this is what I was working on today in her class, making little a little vessel and doing it with ink tents, pencils, and acrylic paints. It is fun learning. Like I don't think I'll ever like that, you know, there I can go learn about art from other artists for hopefully for the rest of my life. Like, I love that. <clears throat> a little like skin glass, yeah. So I'm trying to think about what, and I totally don't know, what color, I think maybe something like this, what color is the shadow area of the yellow cherries? Um, and I feel like it could be something in that range. I might have to put a little bit of this in there. Maybe. I think there's a little piece, hard piece of paint in there. Yes, thank you for that um, information. That's great. Um, we'll see how that goes. I think that's a good, a good start. A little glare on there. All right, so my intention, as always, is to keep it <clears throat> loose, spontaneous, and not get too um, tight or precious with any of the details. Can you see? Okay, now I feel like it's dark, but that's just because I moved all the light away from myself. What's everybody having this morning? Coffee or tea? Or something else? I'm going to try to put down my brush strokes and not fuss with them. Why that is so challenging for me, I have no idea. Mushroom coffee, Mary Eileen, what's that? Ellen's having coffee, are you having fat cow coffee? I just got my delivery on, 
when did the Martha drop off my, it's so fun. My Mar friend Martha brings it to me in the morning. Coffee with cream and caramel drizzle. My gosh, that sounds good. Chick-fil-A lemonade. Wow, that's a crazy breakfast drink. I do like their lemonade. I'm not a soda drinker, so if I do go to Chick-fil-A, which is very rare, I would get lemonade. Wow. Never thought about it for breakfast, though. That's reckless crazy. Coffee in black. Yeah, my friend Martha, who has the coffee shop that I love, Fat Cow Coffee, she um, brings it to my house. So if you're local, she'll drop it off, which is really fun. But they always do trivia night at the little... Um, um, I don't know, a little restaurant near me. What is it? It's like a beer restaurant. <laughs> and they always get a trivia night. And this week they won the trivia contest. And she dropped off my coffee on their way home. And she was so excited that they won trivia. Too fun. What did Anita say? Four, four Sigma. What's that? Is that the mushroom coffee? Mushroom coffee? I never heard of it. Puerto Rican coffee. That's fun. Cinnamon pub. That's the word, Allie. Yep, yeah, that is the word I could not think of. Thank you. No, me. I cannot think of much. Some coffee and a blend of different mushrooms. Wow. That's so fun. I'll have to watch for that. I should think more broadly about coffee from Bali. Wow. About putting in my strokes and not getting so caught up in the details. I tell myself that constantly when I'm painting. I'm kind of looking around to see where other darkest darks are. What time is it? 8.33. I think I'm doing okay on time. have to get a smaller brush. <clears throat> I think I will. This just feels too fat. I feel like I can't get in where I need to with it. Welcome to anyone new who's joining. Oh, the can this canvas is um, six inches by eight inches, and I'm on a flat panel. Sometimes I paint on raised panel, but I'm running out of those, so I'm doing it on flat panel. Yeah, I think the raised panels. Oh, my brush. This is a Rosemary and Company number eight short eclipse flat. And then the one that I was using earlier is a is a 12. So that's this probably about an inch, and this is probably about a half an inch large. Oh, you're welcome. I forget what I was thinking about. I 
Mary Eileen I buy RYZ Mud Mushroom Coffee on Instagram. Oh, and does it taste like regular coffee? Whoops, I was gonna write myself a note and I dropped my pen on the floor. Knock anything over, I'll write it down. R-Y-Z-E. Is it good for you? I would think. Mud water mushroom coffee. Yeah, the col colors are fun, aren't they? A little. And then painting something like this, it's kind of a dance of going around the canvas and adding things, but you don't want to do so much that you're over making it too realistic or to get too lost in the details, but it's a hard line. Yes, not too much caffeine, really good for you. Oh, good, I'll have to try it. Quarter love the world that they provided. The world? So is that the brand? That's not kind of coffee, it's, it's the brand of the product. I want to order some brushes. What other sizes? Huh. Well, I would say those are the ones I mostly always use. I might have a small one here that I like. This is a number five. So that's, there's a five, an eight, and a 12. I would love to have the entire set of brushes, but that's a big investment. So I've never done that. Um, I don't think you could go wrong with any brushes that you get from Rosemary Company. I actually bought a couple for acrylics from her too. A little something on there, a little uh, piece of dirt. Yeah, I would love to buy like the entire set, but that's a big commitment. holding my breath sorry oh you're welcome um I'm gonna do a little bit of my I do love these um, containers, like the grocery store, they don't sell things in these containers anymore, but here where I live at market, like a lot of times they still give them to you. Michael said there was just a podcast episode with Rosemary. Oh, really? Oh, I would love the details. I didn't hear that. I did not hear that. Oh my gosh. Did you guys hear that? That, um, um, Mary, is that Mary Gilkerson passed away? Do you know who that is? She, I have followed her since the beginning of following anyone on Instagram. Such an inspiration. She did a lot of um, uh, plein air painting, landscape. I learned so much about landscape painting and always thought someday I'd go to one of her classes and she passed away. That was like so shocking to me. I don't, I don't know why. I guess because I didn't even know she was sick. That is harder when people pass away and you don't expect it. Even if you don't know them, it's still super upsetting. It's like, what happened? I think I'm saying her name right. Yeah, you'll have to look for it. If you can't find it, Michael, I could put it in a newsletter or you could put it in yours too. Michael also has, he has been um, 
doing a lot of cool things with his artistic journey and has like a separate, I don't know if you know this, he has, it's inspired by Charm. He has a separate um, page on Instagram for his art. And then he also had a lot of cool things um, in a newsletter recently. That is such a shock, isn't that? Like, I think she just found out she had breast cancer and passed away, like, in no time flat. Yes, that life is precious. Yep, that's right, Allie. It sure is. Got to appreciate every moment. Yes. Oh, that looks okay. Can you tell the exact names of the brushes? There are so many choices. Well, these are my, fa my favorite. They're called Rosemary Company. It's eclipse short flat and like I said I have the 4, 8, and the 12 they're my favorite favorite brushes oh, what did I buy here I looks like I have two new ones I did just get a few but that's a 5 and an 8 I didn't even I keep them in these so I know they're my new fresh brushes not that I probably can tell which ones are and which ones aren't but I still keep them in the in the little plastic sleeve until I use them. Ask an Artist Podcast. Oh, Ask an Artist. I love podcasts. I always think that would be fun to make a podcast, but that's, I think, out of my comfort zone. Going on here and chatting about nothing. I'm getting better at, but I don't know that I could. That's a, It's so much to do all of that, you know, for people who make podcasts and do all of the things. It really is a, a, a lot to manage and think about. And, you know, one of my favorites is the um, windowsill chats. That's a podcast that's kind of a current crush of mine <clears throat> if you haven't listened to it kind of look at where, how some of these butt together. Sometimes I'll do something and kind of avoid areas because I'm not sure what to do. And it's better just to dive in and figure it out than to dance around it, I think. I tell myself that anyway. Do you have things like that? Like sometimes I'll work on a painting and I'll find that I'm avoiding the center of the painting because I don't know what to do with it. <laughs> and it's like I should just just dive right in. Don't avoid it. Instead of avoiding what I'm not sure of, I need to embrace it and be okay with that. It's all part of learning. I'm always learning. Like I, I feel like there's there's so much more I have to learn, and I guess all the fun would be gone if if I was finished learning it all. Sorry, I have to run. I'm meeting some friends from high school that I recently... Oh, that's so fun, Anita. Have a great time. Yeah, have a great day, Anita. I have to think about what color my highlights are in there too. They're um, you 
846, my goodness. Such, yeah, the reds are really deep. I need to get moving here. I'm not going to have this finished. Time is flying this morning. Yeah, I do like the deep breads. Hmm. I don't know if I'm going to get this done in time. Finished. Done is not the correct word, is it? <laughs> Good morning, Sharon. Have to think about my highlight areas. Right where, <laughs> thank you. Yes, that is absolutely right. I'm right where I need to be. No need to rush anything. There's plenty of time for all of it. Yes, I love that. <clears throat> There are these hot spots. I'm not sure quite what I want to do with those yet. I guess they could be white. I could put white in there and see how it looks. This needs to be darker. So I'm, I'm just kind of going around and around looking for spots that I missed. Things that need to be pulled forward or pushed backwards. Um, that has some reflection. This has there's a lot of reflections going on in there. <clears throat> Some very light, light, light yellow. I'm just mixing up a little bit more of a yellow, a light, adding white in. So kind of that what the washed out areas where the yellows are. <clears throat> yeah, with the touch of blue. Yep, I think so, Michael. I've got to make that. I think that is what I see too. Yep, let me mix a little bit of white and blue. Is it 50? I think I'm good. Oh, wait, I'm, I'm trying to get my paper towels pulled apart. Yeah, I agree. I need a little white with a tiny touch of blue in it. And then I need. 
need to do where the little stems came out. You think I need a stem? I probably should do at least one stem. It's always a shame at like all the places now, they clean everything up so much. Like I would love to be able to go and I can if I go to a farmer's market or whatever, but I have to take the time to do that. But I want my fruit to have leaves. Like I want oranges with leaves on them. I want my, my apples to have leaves on them. Like it's just so hard to find that to be able to paint it. Oh, what was I thinking about? Something, but I have totally forgot now. Oh, this, a stem. Whether I need a stem or not. I want veggies with leaves. Do you have to? You have to buy them separately, yeah, or like a farmer's market, or grow them yourself, but there are a lot of things I can't grow here. My markets package everything, no stems or leaves, I know. It's funny, it's I guess how everybody wants it, but. Um, yeah, maybe with the whole thing of <clears throat> things being organic now, maybe they'll start to leave that on, because it would be easier for them not to pull all that off when they're getting things ready to ship, but need to visit an orchard. Yes, that's exactly what I need to do. We certainly have them here. It's just taking the time to go. fun to just go sit in an orchard and paint, wouldn't it? Okay. Now I think I'm belaboring a little bit, but I do see... a little bit of I'm just making sure I don't have like stuff showing that I stuff I don't know what stuff I mean um that there aren't um bits of white panel like right here I have a white panel showing still what time is it 54 I think the leaves would rot with sh oh yes that's probably true I didn't even think about that the leaves probably would and they or even if they didn't rot they get discolored looking and then people would think that the that the fruits and vegetables weren't fresh enough right <clears throat> yeah I didn't even think about that <clears throat> All right, let me do a little bit of this highlight. As you know, I'm holding my breath. <laughs> yes, wouldn't that be fun to do that paint in an orchard live? I should do that. I could ask like Cherry Hill Orchards or something if they'd let me come do that. That sounds like a fun way to spend a day.
Do you add some other color for the white? Yeah, there's just a little bit of blue in my white, just the tiniest, or like purple. I think I put the violet gray, violet gray, is that what it's called, into it? Just a little tiny bit. Just to make it cool, because that looks like a kind of a cool purple against the red. Yes, yeah, so the highlights make a huge difference. And it's so hard to be patient and not do that till the very end. But if you do it before the end, um, you end up like smearing it and stuff. And it kind of doesn't stay as magical looking. It's part of that patience thing of that art's constantly teaching me. Do I have I missed any? I guess I won't do a stem because I really don't know that that would help. Hi, Jessica. Thank you. See anything else that it needs? 857. Boy, I made it just under the wire, didn't I? I will sign it. Whoops. Now I got paint on my... I signed it. I will save this. Do you ever order from Jackson's? Um, Susie, I think I have for sure. I mean, that's not my regular go-to, but there's my reference. My painting. And all the colors I mixed up. So I will save this and I'll have it up on my YouTube channel and a link on my blog and my website too. So thanks for coming and hanging out with me today. I hope you guys all have a wonderful day. And if in your, you're in my Art and Bloom class, I'll be back on here, I think at two o'clock to do a little extra lesson for you guys. So thanks for coming and hanging out. And hi, Gail. Thank you. So see you. Thank you.